Thank you for everybody for watching, lurking in the chat. If you have any suggestions or comments, don't hesitate to throw them out there. I don't mind backseat uh, gaming or suggestions or anything like that. In fact, I, I'm, I love it. I think this is like a game we are playing together when we do this streaming thing. Yeah, why'd they do that? Every time I click outside of the box. Hey, somebody. We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my. Would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know. An infirmary or an accommodating ditch. Yeah, you're kind of a kind of an arse, aren't you? Just a little bit. Just a little bit of an arse. All right. Make room. Everybody step back. Now what's the matter? What happened to him? You hear the stern voice of an elderly man, but you're so weak you can't even turn your head to look in his direction. Hmm, the wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Kinebras. The walls, you say. The enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. We must fortify the defenses, and you, hold fast, and don't die. We'll see you, right? Um, hi, Viper. How you doing? Well, um, I'd like to ask everybody to go ahead and follow. So next time I go live playing the game, you can come watch me, help me. Like I said, don't hesitate to chat. Just uh, come th uh, throw your suggestions on what to do. Uh, items lost. Longbow, cold iron flail, cold iron dagger, ever-burning torch. Well, I've lost those items now. We'll get you patched up first. Um, oh, this is uh, Viper. This is uh, Pathfinder. Wrath of the Righteous. It's in beta. I got a beta key. Um... Uh, and uh, I'm testing out it's a beta version, so there's going to be lots of bugs and issues. But uh, it's an RPG, kind of like um, Baldur's Gate type of stuff. Um, you know, uh, Pillars of Eternity, that sort of thing. They had one that was the um, uh, Kingmaker that I played uh, quite a few years ago. But first, you there, guard, take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must a abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. Mm. Oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades, and the yielding strength of our armor, Ioma Day. I beseech you, grant your mercy, heal his wounds. Healing light envelops you, but your pain lessens only slightly. Well, I'm not going to give up that easy. I won't give up that easily. Hear, hear. That's the Crusader spirit. Ordinary healing magic is having no effect. Someone call for Terran... Terendelev, you there, yes, you stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendelev. Uh, Camellia, prelate, of all the... Have you forgotten that you are speaking to a lady? I am not a lackey to be ordered about. Sila says, I'll get her, Terendelev. Has anyone seen Terendelev? Be quick about it, before it's too late, the old man leans over you. 
Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. Um, I'm wondering, what would I say? I mean, I'm supposed to just be, uh, am I on a mission? Uh, am I supposed to be looking for someone? I don't think I came to fight demons, though I probably wouldn't mind that. Let's just say I came to the city on private business. What private business would be that be? Well, I'm a holy assassin, so I can't tell you. There's only one business here in Kinneris, and that's, that's crusade business. All the rest, the crafters, the traders, the scholars, they all work to support the crusade effort. All right. All right. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, leave this poor man in peace. He has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of him. <laughs> All right, as you wish. You are our protector and a dragon at that. So I sh Okay. He did say dragon. Okay. He said dragon. So I shall defer to your wisdom. But be on your guard. I have been informed he was wounded near Kinebras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. And the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of the city. Well, muttering discontentedly, the old man walks off. A beautiful silver-haired woman leans over you. She seems ageless, her face wholly unlined, but centuries-old sadness gleams in her eyes. Pain retreat. Life vanquish the shadow of death. Body cast off your suffering. The longer she speaks, the stronger her voice becomes. There. Um, hmm. I'll just say thank you. No need to pry. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. Who are you? My name is Tarendalev. I am the protector of the city. I guess I'm supposed to go through all of them. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf the square with my icy breath to win your trust. The woman lets out a melodious laugh. Pay no mind to my curious guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. What happened to me? I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Can I go? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Kinebras. We will find a way to help you, but for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in the time of war and merriment, is one of the best medicines. All right, that's cool. This place is protected by a dragon. All right. Uh, Day of the City. Kinnabris is a city poised on the border. Okay, we're supposed to have fun. Move the camera. Uh, to move the camera, use the following keys. Okay, to write to the camera, 
Yeah. Okay. Zoom in. Zoom out. Yep, we got that. Got the camera done. Now. What was that? This ability allows the character to accept effects of Inspire Rage. It is disabled. Save the character won't accept the effects again. <laughs> Contemplating life. Polar. Life is full of, of ups and downs. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we'll find a way to help you. Dialogue finished. Okay. Oops. Save the game. Save it. Okay. I didn't mean to actually save. But. Well, I guess I'm supposed to walk around and find some people. Enjoy. Just that. Okay. Now let's try to walk around and figure out what's going on here. Just go talk to a citizen. Happy day. To the city. All right. Well, let's see. So sample the special, throw the dart, hit the mannequin. All right. Where's the dart throwing at? <laughs> oh, let's go hit the mannequin. I believe this is hit the mannequin. All right. Right in the jaw. I punched a mannequin right in the jaw. I'm amazing. Hit the mannequin. All right. Let's see. All right. Press J for journal. All right. So now. Okay. Supposed to sample the brew. Huh. Sample the brew. I'm not drunk as you think I am. Uh, yeah, there's only a few options. Um, so, I mean, it's the beta version. Uh, so, uh, let's see, is that L4, is that lunch? Okay. All right, if I call you lunch, it's kind of what it looks like. Or is that launch? Oh, it's launch pad. Is that launch pad? Okay, I got it. God, I'm stupid. <laughs> it looks more like launch pad. I think that's what you wanted there. I think that's it. So yeah, there were only a few version, uh, a few things. <clears throat> it looked like a lot of the old ones from from uh, Kingmaker. Well, I don't know where all this other stuff is at. Well, thanks for coming in, Launchpad. How's your day going? Let's see. All right, well, there's the darts. Is there a brew over here? I'm just trying to figure out what the brew is. Yeah, this is the dart here. Throw a dart. 
Okay, dragon, I'll see you later. Okay. Alright. Well, that doesn't seem like a good thing. I'm thinking we have a problem. I don't know. It could just be me. But I'm thinking there's a problem here. They took all my weapons, too. Holy crap! You've got to freaking be kidding me. Holy mother... Okay, uh... The halfling's armor is splashed with blood and he's armed to the teeth with a sword, a blade, and a hatchet on his belt. I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, yeah, you have. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they've patched you up. Good thing they did it before they attacked, or else you'd be done for. Uh, who's Descari? You must have got a good drubbing around your head, brother. Descari is a demon lord. The most fearsome enemy of all crusaders, and all living things, come to think of it. Uh, I know what the situation is. It's getting attacked. But who knows? Everything's on fire, crashing down around our ears. The place is crawling with demons. Look like a whole army. Care to lend me a le weapon? Sure thing. Here, take this. Out the crossbow. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord, even. I'll try to fight them. Alright. In dialogue. Alright. Oh, okay. I'm gonna shoot at the big one. Is that what I'm doing? Please report the bugs you find. The silver dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Okay. Oh, great. By hovering the cursor over a unit, item, or spell and pressing Alt-B, you leave a special text on a screenshot. This will help to us to better understand the bugs. Please assign an uh, aspect of the bug you'd like to report. For example, the creature has an issue with its visuals. Hover the cursor over it, press Alt-B, plus B, and select the visual aspect from the menu. You can edit the screenshot in the bug report window. This allows you to mark an area or an object with an issue. Okay. All right. So now I have I have a box. Okay. Got my lucky bracers and I have 
So, wait a minute. How can we put this on? Question is, can I put that on a hot bar? Info, info. All right, I was trying to get it down here in case I needed it. All right. Tread lightly. Okay, I'm going to tread lightly. Okay, obviously that's a dead end and we should go this way. All right, all right, come on. Let's go. Let us be careful. Holy mother of a small woman with messy brown hair winces in pain, uttering a stream of curses. Through clenched teeth, she is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. None like being pinned to the ground. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole, but at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. The young woman in knight's armor studies the rocks intently, clearly trying to work out how to move them. Everything is going just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. Wouldn't say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankles kill me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. Okay. During the course of the game, you all uh, have to apply skill uh, skills in many different situations. Frequently, you'll have to make a skill check during dialogue. Here, for example, we are trying to help Sela fetch uh, Nevia from beneath the rubble. The result of such checks determines how events subsequently pan out. Such a check is usually performed by the character with the highest bonus in the appropriate skill. Okay. Uh, athletics. You have evil options. So if you wanted to go full evil, you actually have evil options. All right, that's cool. If you wanted to play a full evil character, you evil. Interesting. Let's try athletics. Some tells me we're going to, we're going to. Failed athletics checks. Holy crap, you have to work hard to get the wounded woman out from under the rubble. At last, the knight stops to catch her breath and wipe the sweat off her brow. Damn it all, I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Fishing a piece of twine from her pocket, she gets to work. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own, stuck under there. So we got her out. You have failed the skill check, so Savela had to remove from beneath the rubble alone. Because of this, she became fatigued and incurred a temporary penalty to some of her abilities. Ah. If your sh skill check has been successful, there would have been no negative consequences. Okay, so we still got her out, but there's negative consequences because we failed. Nice mechanic there. That's actually very interesting. Uh, thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nivea Tirebade of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. Well, I think they did. I really think they did. Uh, what exact actually happened, though? Now that I did not see coming, I didn't. I don't think anyone could have prepared for that. What the big old gigantic demon army invading? No, I don't mean no. Well, I'm Sila, paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And well, I've been fighting for a while now. Okay. Sila's expression darkens. I don't even want to think what might have ha might be happening up there in the city. 
Kinebris has lost the protection of Tarendalev and of the Wardstone. Looks like it's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it, but there's no point worrying about a stone when there's no or when there are people dying in the streets. Yep, things are looking grim. Enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Kinebris will never give in. Simple as. Anivia's eyes shift to you. Well, we've in, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Uh, let's see. I am led by destiny. I don't know why fate has brought me here, but I feel it was not by chance. Uh, no, I'm not out for fortune. I'm not a scholar. Don't know if I was sent here to fight the abyss. My name is Hale Yeah. Good to meet you. Now tell us about yourself. Whoa, girl. Uh, slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. We don't have time to be swapping life stories. We need to find a way out of here. Okay. Uh, Anivia uh, tightly tie, uh, ties off the twine on her improvised splint and leaning on a stick hauls herself to her feet. Uh, you're going straight up, of course. Well, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces, so that's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're going to have to go the long way around. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pair of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <clears throat> That's mine. Underground monsters beware. Celo winks. Anivia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward. May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Okay. Okay, we can... Now your party has several characters. Select one of them. Click on their portrait or use the appropriate key. Alt 1 through 6. To select several characters and give them all command, either drag the box holding L and B or click the portraits of the desired characters. To select all your characters, press backspace. 